How's it going everybody? So I've started to finish off getting this side down to metal, down to bare metal. Um, I have got the filler on this here and it's just it's not that bad to sand. I'll bring you into sanding that in a second. Um, it's actually not so bad. Nice that metallic sand. That, that metallic putty is really cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll bring you in closer to just have a little look at this and we're going to strip this door and this vein get them ready for primer, for epoxy primer, and then I'm gonna take, take the wing of the door off to primer them. I'm gonna start stripping the front and make my way around this side now, um, and I'll finish up. I might have showed just a little clip, I'm not too sure if it's in it or not, but I was already rooting at the other side, um, taking the plastics off and all that, and then, but the passenger side rear quarter panel is really ready to get cut and to start into kind of the inside, the outside is already cut. So I want to work with my way around it, just to feel like I've got more done. Because while I, if I want to take a break from sand or from welding or sand, then I can be doing grinding. I'm going to be just doing bits and pieces here, there, and everywhere now, lads. Just in according to me hands and stuff like when I'm sanding, I can't sand for too long. Like going this way with the pressure I need, because my shoulder gets a bit sore. And um, yeah, we'll just do what we can and let's get grinding and bringing all this down to bare metal to get some epoxy primer on it. That's the A queer soul. One eternity later. So I have the passenger's wing all ground down ready for epoxy primer. One or two little things on it, but nothing major. How he is by the way. So that there is ready. So that's like before, during, and after. This has got epoxy primer on it earlier on today. And um, I have to primer it in stages because the compressor is a little small at the moment because my one is the way getting fixed. Um, hopefully it's back in the next two or three weeks and um, so we can get this sorted out but this wing is epoxy primered I'm going to primer this wing and this door at the same time and um, so I'll let you catch up from the material that I had got up and um, me grinding away on this door so I have got a farewell on and um, very happy with how it's going so far guys Extremely happy with how it's going, so we'll keep grinding away on over here just to finish off around the door. And um, I have taken the window and the rubbers, so I'm going to just finish off where I haven't got done and get mixing up some epoxy primer. So, just mixing up the 4CR epoxy primer, give it a little mix. And this is the second can I've gone through already on this. 
this up. We have to mix this up a few minutes before I actually spray it because it has to settle and stuff for 15 minutes or so. So I'll mix this up. <clears throat> I'll mix this up and what I'll do is I'll panel wipe it and degrease it and then we can probably get ready to spray it a few minutes later or so. But that is the primer and that is the Erdno. Lovely. Give it a little twist. I will probably end up needing more. Generally, needs the epoxy to be fair. Needs it. And to be fair, lads, I've something to show you is about why I go down to why 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 I go to why I've started to go down to bare metal. Um I'll bring it to you now in a second. But it kind of, on the Civic, I didn't get it because on the seams where the roof meets the quarter panels, when they need to seam seal it, always with a little bit of rust. Only minor bits, like. So I grind them down and have to re seam seal it, which is no problem. But on the door, I um, just grind down the bare steel and uh, there was a few little holes of rust in it and they were filled across before. So uh, it's good to go down to bare metal on the older cars, guys. Steel is pretty decent as well, and with the rust removal discs, it's not actually eating any of the steel away, which is a bonus, really, to be fair, because it's keeping the structural integrity of the steel itself. Okay, so I'm just in keeping with tune with stripping it down to bare metal. Um, we've got two wings done, we've got the driver side done with epoxy primer that is. We'll do this door now and we'll move on to this door. So we'll get these two done today. That means that we're nearly wrapped around. So and then I'm gonna strip the front end as well today. So it's gonna be a very good productive day today guys. So let's get to it. Like I knew there was a dent there. That's incredible. I've got one door done. I'm onto this one. I've got a bit of it done, and I am not taking the handle off just yet, so I can make the arch on and still open and close the door. So let's get to doing this. One. Later.
guys, I was just doing a bit of prep work underneath this yoke. Wait till you see this. I was doing a bit of prep just to get you ready for uh, the skin ready to be started up and to show what's going on. Like, right? I don't even know what I'm saying because I don't know what to do, right? <laughs> it's actually nuts. Um, take a look at this. Oh. I'm gonna cut off a good bit of that now and don't mind this, that'll all be gone. But that's not my problem, there's my problem. <laughs> Get as much of that light as I can. There we go. Oh Jesus. Don't know whether to cry or laugh. And then that's not about the, the hole up there as well. <laughs> Where do you start? I suppose we may get. I don't know. I just don't know where to go. I could go. I'm thinking, right? Because I have a good section of the other yoke, but I still I can, I can make more fucking patches and shit, right? But if I go from here up, up there, along that edge there, and up there. Maybe come across here. I don't know, like in some way. And then when I cut out this piece here, I can patch up all in here. Like I did on the far side. Because that's got a hell of a hole. That's getting all the way cut out in here, lads. Jesus. Oh, where do you start? Be God, let's fucking do something anyway, I suppose. Get the grinder out, it's not gonna cut itself, is it? Be the God, lads, I tell you, this is some mess inside here. Yeah. The chap that owns the car thinks I'm talking to him, he's delusional. Uh -huh. He's gonna come over and say hello there, Kira. Oh, okay. oh, he doesn't even want to. Don't mind him. The, the camera shut, I don't love the chap. You can see him in law and order in a few weeks. So, I have a savage. Savage hole on the inside of this, and um, all around the back of a few of the neck. I've put probably pictures in to, to show you. Um, but what we're doing is we're just making slow and steady progress here. And uh, I've got this line marked out here for this section to go on. And I am going to just finish cleaning off the back of this and put some uh, rustable uh, off. What's the name of it again? I'm after missing it in my head. Uh, weldable primer. We'll put all the weldable primer on the inside of that and on the outside of that. Oh, it is on the outside. Look at that. Here you go. Sick, bang. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to crack on with this. I'm going to cut off that and really just take it on our whim and see how we get on, guys. Where's me Googles? There's me Googles. Here you go. Come on over here, shall have a gander. I think we should take a moment of time here just to praise Juan Pablo Angel for all his cutting abilities. Because we're highly dependent on him right now, so yeah. So we have the outside of our finally on after a long time. I gotta turn on the light, but I don't have this section here welded up I have to cut out I have to cut this here out anyway so I'm going to finish welding up the holes on the inside when I cut the shop top off 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put on the outside arch here and as you can see that's the line I have to cut over here. I don't want to just cut out that section now. And then I have this one here all ready to go now it does have this bit of rust on it but we'll sort out this when when it's on and I'm gonna cut that section out of it there and we will patch it up when it's on so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off the excess and take it from there let's get it How are you lads? What's the story? So I have been very busy. If you were looking at my Instagram, for those who are looking at my Instagram and seeing the Instagram live, if you didn't see the Instagram live, head over onto my Instagram. It's only a brief 40 second video or something. But you will understand why I didn't really have too much of this recorded. Because I actually betted out of it in one night and I stayed up all night to get it done. But Sorry. I did make one little mistake. <clears throat> I did cut this little section here. Um, I cut the arch too small. I didn't realize it wasn't in line, but it's a, it's a small little piece made up here now. So, on top of that, I have to cut out this little section and put in a new little piece there because that is rotted in behind it. I'm going to cut out that much there, see? And then just put a new piece in. I also have a little bit of doctrine to do here. Um, so I'll get this done, this done, this done. And then I have to weld the arch uh, in the back. And then I also have to weld up um, the underneath of this sill here. Just to where it connects onto the new skin. So uh, I have this little piece here fabricated up and all ready to rock and roll. So I just have to pretty much just switch on the welder and crack on so I'll give you a little look at what happened a little so when I originally cut this quarter panel off it was a while ago but to be fair I didn't really cop it I should have really looked at it really a bit more in depth but considering the time of the day and all and it's only a little section that we got to put in there so we'll just get that ready to go in might weld a little flathead screwdriver onto it or something just to keep it that I can mess with it a bit um, but yeah, let's get this PCO welded in. <laughs> 